In this video, I'm going to be going over how to scan on your new Ricoh MFP. We're going to start off by selecting our scanner icon. From here, we can choose the destination of where we want to scan to. Up at the top, you have your drop bar, so you can select if you want to scan to a network folder or if you want to scan to an email address. In this case, we're going to be scanning to an email address. You can select multiple people at once to be tied in on the email. If you're sending to a random address that you don't have saved into your address book, just tap the specified destination and enter using the keypad. To make any changes prior to your scan, to the right, we can select Send Settings, and this is where we're going to find all of our setting options. The first is our color select, and this can be left set to auto, so it's going to detect whether we have a color or a black and white document. To the right is our file type. I'm going to select others, that way we can see all of our options. Typically this is set for PDF multi-page. If we're ever sending any photos or images, we can reformat them as a TIFF or a JPEG. Next is our resolution. Most devices are going to come defaulted at 200 dpi, which is perfectly fine for text documents. If we select others, we're going to see all of our options, and we can see that we can go all the way up to 600 dpi. dpi just means dots per inch, so the higher the number, better the quality of the image. Our original settings tab can determine if we're scanning a one-sided or a two-sided original. In this case, we can select two-sided, open right to left. Our scan size, we can just leave set to auto detect. Next is gonna be our file name. So when we select here, our keypad's gonna come up and then we can name our file. Under density, we can lighten or darken the outcome of our scan. Next is our original orientation, and this is just determining what our original is in the document feeder. So readable direction is going to be portrait, 90 degrees counterclockwise is going to be landscape. Since we are scanning to an email, we can put in a subject and we can also put in a body of text. Under scan ratio, Rico has provided us with a number of preset percentages, and then you also have a manual percentage toolbar up at the top. If we're ever scanning books or pamphlets, again, we can erase the center, the border, or both. So it's gonna get rid of those gutter lines that show up on a book scan, and it's gonna turn it into one complete image. New to all the IMC series is your delete blank page option. This is a great feature if you're scanning one and two sided originals. When we select this option, it's going to automatically detect the blank sides of the one sided documents and know to skip over them. We have our stamp feature, so when we turn this on, we can add any preset stamps to our scan. Also, we have our batch feature. This is nice if we want to do any job building at the MFP. Similar to copy, this is a great tool to use if we have a job that's larger than the document feeder can hold. So when we put in our first part of the job, we want to select start. Up at the top, you'll see a message called finish scan. We want to ignore it because we want to add to the next part of our job. So we hit start. Once we do hit finish scan, it's going to send everything all off as one attachment. Lastly is our divide setting. So this is pretty much the opposite of batch. An example I always give is say I have 10 pages of invoices in my document feeder and I know that every two sheets is a new invoice. So I'm going to tap here and I'm going to divide every two sheets. So in this example, I'm going to be receiving five separate attachments in my scan. You are now ready to scan on your new Rico MFP. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to your Centric corporate trainer.